Hi, I'm Robert Fearson, Superintendent of Schools of the Garden City School District, which has a well-deserved reputation for excellence. In fact, the New York Times recently ranked Garden City number six out of nearly 700 districts in New York State. There are great things happening in our classrooms every day, but our schools are in serious need of renovation and modernization. In fall 2007, the district created the Ad Hoc Facilities Committee, composed of members drawn from throughout our community. They toured all nine district buildings and hired an architectural and an engineering firm. In the end, after considerable discussion and revision, they put forward a conservative plan which addresses only the district's most pressing needs. The health and safety of our students and staff is our highest concern. We need to ensure that all our structures are sound. It is the school district's responsibility to protect the community's investment in our schools and maintain the physical plant. The first of our currently operating school buildings was built in 1925. The newest buildings are half a century old. Now, due to the age of these structures, many are in need of repair or renovation. Following are examples of the work required. Bathrooms that cannot accommodate community members or students with disabilities. Locations that have undergone a series of repairs in the past now require renovation or retrofitting. Due to the age of the buildings, sill deterioration, and related drainage problems, there are areas that experienced warped and buckled floors on an ongoing basis. Drainage problems are evident on rooftops, including this roof that after five days of 90 degree heat, still had standing pools of water. And in offices, in classrooms, as well as around the foundations of buildings. The grounds surrounding some district buildings need to be regraded to prevent further damage from the elements. In many places, windows need to be replaced to repair it because they're no longer operable, damaged, or of such an odd size and design that energy efficient replacements are not available. Wooden doors that due to a number of factors such as wear and tear, outdated and leaking hydraulic systems, swelling and warping must be replaced to meet current regulations. In addition to bathrooms, other renovations are necessary to comply with ADA requirements, such as providing access to and seating in auditoriums for our neighbors and students with disabilities, the installation of ramps, and renovation of the high school stadium bleachers to ensure the safety of students and community members who regularly attend athletic events. The worn and cracked wood bench seats and landings do not meet the open riser area standard now in place. Throughout the district, replacements are needed for significantly outdated equipment. Some of our boilers are more than 60 years old and need to be modified to comply with current codes. Also fire and safety issues must be addressed, such as incomplete walls. Internal rooms designed to provide special services to students were built many years ago with inadequate ventilation and construction materials not up to today's codes. Open staircases that now require doors to comply with fire regulations. Old metal doors that can no longer be repaired. And updating of antiquated alarm systems. Some specific work needed at the high school includes repairing more than 20 cracks in the gymnasium walls which pose a threat to the integrity of the existing structure. And at the middle school, the perforated metal ceiling in the kitchen needs to be updated to comply with health department regulations. The exteriors of many district buildings are also showing signs of age. Cracks in foundations and masonry walls need to be addressed as well as the tripping hazard posed by cracked exterior staircases. Repairs are required on the support structure of Stratford's East Fire Escape. Windows need to be repaired or replaced in order to mitigate leaking and improve energy efficiency. And significant settling and buckling of the modular office that serves as the hub of the district's transportation department. And there are repairs that while they can't be seen, are needed to meet health and safety requirements, such as heating and ventilation work in the library. And in the high school nurse's office, the 2009 school investment bond, along with the district's capital project funds and energy performance contract, will enable us to make needed repairs, reclaim space for instruction, and modernize our schools. Also important is our ability to provide access to district facilities for all community members. 
Our schools are used almost around the clock by all groups. They are a true hub for life in Garden City. The bond proposal put forth on October 27th seeks to preserve and protect these valuable resources. Please remember to vote on October 27th. A special thank you to the community members who worked tirelessly as part of the District Facilities Committee to prioritize this list of needed repairs and renovations.